Hey guys, I am so excited to share this workout with you. It takes some of the most loved formats from my YouTube channel and puts it together into a full length 45 minute workout, including a warm up and a cool down. This is the first workout in a set of five. All five workouts use the same structure, sort of like a group fitness class. You know what to expect each week, you know the format, but you see all different exercises, so it truly is a unique workout every single time. So, if you do this workout and you love it and you have the equipment needed, I have good news for you. I have four more just like it, which you can find on my blog for purchase. I'll give you more info at the end of this workout, but for now, let's get to your circuit and Tabata class. Welcome to your circuit plus Tabata class. This is how it's gonna work. The first half of this workout, we're gonna be focused on lower body. The second half, we're gonna focus on upper body and core. Within those two halves, you're gonna have a circuit and then a Tabata blast. For the circuit, I'm gonna give you five exercises. You're gonna do each of them for 45 seconds back to back. You're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then we'll repeat. In total, we're doing three times through that circuit. For the Tabata, it's two exercises. We're using an interval structure of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna alternate between those two exercises eight times. I'm gonna show you a preview of those exercises before we get to it, and then we will get into our workout and we will get going. to start by getting our heart rate up. Throughout this workout, guys, I have Rachel over here. She's gonna be demonstrating the modifications for each exercise. And then I have Christina. She is going to be doing the full workout. So you can look to either of them. I'll be going in and out of demonstrating the exercises as well. To start, let's just gradually bring that heart rate up. We're gonna start with some jumping jacks. Good, so we're just gonna alternate between three moves. We're gonna go twice through. Again, just gradually bringing that heart rate up. On my count, we're gonna take it into high knees in three. Two, one, take it to high knees. If you're modifying, just march in place for me. Now on my count, we're gonna take it into butt kickers. That's in three, two, one. So just bring one heel in towards your bum, running it out. We're gonna go through those once more in three. Start with jumping jacks. Two, and one, jumping jacks. One more time, we're gonna take it to those high knees. Three, two, one. High knees, drive those knees up. Core is active here. Butt kickers in three, two, one. Heel and towards your bum. On my count, I want your feet a little wider than hips width apart. We're gonna take it to some squats in three, two, one. So from here, just take it down and up, squeezing your glutes at the top. Next time down, you're gonna hold and pulse it out for me. Little pulses. Okay, now I want you to bring your elbows inside your knees. Stretch here, you can kind of shift it side to side. And let's bring our hands to the floor. You're gonna straighten your legs, come into a forward fold. From here, I want you to roll slowly to the top. Arms sweep up overhead. And we're gonna do that one more time. Squat down, bringing your elbows inside your legs. You can sway side to side. Hands to the floor, you know the drill. Straighten those legs, roll it up. Arms up overhead. Good, and we're gonna turn to the side here and we're gonna come into a lunge position. I want your hands on the inside of that front foot. 
From here, you're gonna take the inside arm and you're gonna reach it up towards the ceiling, twist. Good, coming back through center, step back into a plank. Same thing, other foot steps forward. Inside arm reaches up towards the ceiling, twist. Good, bring that hand back in. Plank position, give me some slow mountain climbers, one knee in at, the time, at a time. Not about speed here. Good, and hold that plank. You're gonna walk your hands back to your feet. Roll it up, and we are ready to get going. Okay, so we are gonna start our circuit. Remember, five exercises. We're gonna go through them back to back, 45 seconds a piece. So we're gonna grab our weights. If you're modifying, you don't need to grab them. In 10 seconds, we're gonna start with a squat thrust, and we're gonna add a pulse at the bottom. We're gonna get going in four, three, two, one. So you're gonna squat down, give me a little pulse at the bottom. On the way up, I want you to drive those weights overhead, bring them back to your shoulders, lower down. Little pulse at the bottom up to the top. Now, when you are at the top, I want you to squeeze your glutes forward and I want your abs in tight. So picture you're coming into a plank position at the top. Down, little pulse, and up. If you're modifying, you don't need to use the weights. I still want you adding that little pulse at the bottom though. Good, you got 15 seconds to go. In 10 seconds, we are gonna hold it low. We're gonna take it into the next move, which is gonna be a low squat with a back step. You can keep both weights or you can drop down to one in three, two, one. Hold it low. Now in this low squat position, I want you to step one foot back so you're in a back lunge. Step it forward into that squat, other foot. So you're just alternating side to side. If it gets to be too much, drop one weight and keep the remaining one under your chin. If that's too much, you drop both weights. You're just gonna do it body weight for me. The goal here is to stay low. If staying low gets to be too much, when you come to the squat, stand it up for me, sit it back down. All right, we got under 15 seconds to go. Notice, Rachel's keeping her knee right over the heel, all right? You don't want that knee to jump forward. We're gonna ditch the weights on my count, guys. We're gonna get that heart rate up a little bit with the next one. We're gonna do a jump lunge, jump hop in three, two, one. Ditch those weights. So in a lunge position, you're gonna give me a little hop and then you're gonna switch which foot's in front. Hop, switch. Little hop, little switch. If that gets to be too much, you're just gonna do an alternating back lunge, adding in a little pulse at the bottom. Or maybe you just do the jump lunge and take out the hop. You can always modify these. I want you to try to stay active the whole 45 seconds though. We have under 15 to go. Keep it up. Little hop, jump. Coming up next, you're going to need one weight. We're gonna isolate the right leg in three, two, one. Grab one weight, we're gonna do a knee drive in a low lunge position, right foot is forward. So drive the left knee in, step it back, deadlift hinge. Knee in, step it back, hinge forward. Now when you do that hinge forward, you're not locking out the front knee, okay? There's a softness to it. And when you hinge forward, I want you to keep your hips square to the floor. So you're gonna have to take that left hip, pull it down an inch for me. Good, a few more seconds here. To modify, I just want you doing that single leg deadlift as Rachel's demonstrating. On my count, all you're gonna do is switch sides. That's in three, two, one. I want your left foot forward now. Low lunge position, big lean forward with the torso. Knee drives in and out. Hinge it forward. Knee drives in and out. Hinge it forward. Remember those form cues so we're not locking out the front left knee. When you hinge forward, you're keeping your right hip down in line with the left. We're almost done with this first circuit, guys. You have 20 seconds to go. In, hinge, your core is active, spine is long. You're gonna get 30 seconds to rest on my count. Give me four, three, two, one, 30 seconds to rest. Okay, find those weights. We're gonna start back at the top with that 
squat thrust, adding in a little pulse at the bottom. So feet about hips width apart, maybe a little wider. Core is active, you got those weights at your shoulders. If you need to drop down to one weight or no weights, that's an option. We're gonna start in four, three, two, one, let's go. Squat it down, give me a little pulse at the bottom. Drive up, bring those weights up overhead. Sit down low. So yes, this is a lower body section, but we are gonna get that little shoulder press in here as well. When you're at the bottom of this squat, you want weight in your heels. And up, good. Show you guys from the side. Notice as I'm lowering down, I'm sending my hips back. I'm sitting back into it and my torso is hinging forward so that my knees don't jut out farther than the toes. A few more seconds here. Now remember your options for the next one. You can keep both weights or you can drop down to one weight. In three, two, one, we're gonna hold it low. From this low squat, you're gonna step one foot back, you're in a low lunge, step it forward. Other foot steps back, low lunge, forward. So the goal here is to stay low. You wanna build up that burn. If it's too much, you drop one weight, keep the remaining one under your shoulders or under your chin. Good, so weight is staying in the heel of the front leg. It's a little step back and forward. The front knee is not jutting out farther than the toes. If this gets to be too much, when you come to your squat, stand up for a second and then go back down into it. 10 seconds, you have 10 seconds to go. We're gonna ditch those weights after this. We're gonna get that heart rate up. We have that little lunge hop with the jump lunge combo coming up. In three, two, one, let's go. Ditch those weights. So when your lunge position, pop up and then switch your legs. Pop up, switch. When you do the hop, you don't have to get a ton of air, okay? Those feet are barely coming off the ground. Landing, jump lunge, switch. If that gets to be too much, you can just do the jump lunge or alternating back lunge, add a little pulse. You got it, guys. We're gonna slow down the pace after this. You have 20 seconds to go. Could you pick up that pace at all? Get out of breath on this one. Little hop, switch, little hop. Switch, can you keep pace with me? Under 10 seconds to go. Coming up next, we're gonna need one weight. We're gonna go into that deadlift hinge. We're gonna start on the right leg in three, two, one. Grab your weight. Right foot is forward, left foot is back. Hinge forward with your torso. You can keep the weight at your shoulders or under your chin. That back knee drives in and out. And then you're gonna hinge it forward. So a little bit of balance involved on this one, okay? Don't rush it. I would rather you get in fewer reps and keep the proper alignment. As you hinge forward, try to keep your hips square to the floor. You wanna feel this through the back of that right leg. Rachel's demonstrating the modification. You can just do that single leg deadlift. You would hold the weight in the opposite hand to whichever leg is in front. Three, two, one, just switch sides, left foot is forward. This is it guys, 45 seconds, then you get another rest. Drive that knee in, hinge it forward. Good. You're keeping a softness to that front left knee. Spine is long. If the weight is too much, drop it. Or keep that back foot lightly on the floor for support. All right, just over 15 seconds to go. Stay with it. You're almost to that 30 second break. Good, remember, as you hinge forward, I want you to picture pulling the right hip down in line with the left. Knit the ribs together, stay long through the spine. You're here for three, two, one, 30 seconds to rest. Let's find those weights. We're going through one more time, guys. We're gonna start at the top. We got that squat thrust with a pulse. Coming up in 10 seconds. You're done with your first circuit after this, okay? Five moves, let's do it in four, three, two, one. Let's go, squat down, give me a little pulse at the bottom. Drive it up, thrust those weights up. When you are thrusting the weights overhead, I don't want you to arch into your back, okay? It's not this, it's abs and tight, squeeze the glutes. So like I mentioned in the first round, you're picturing you're coming up into a plank position with your torso, okay? Down, a little pulse, up, drive those weights overhead. 
Use your breath to help you out, exhaling as you drive up. 15 seconds to go. You got that. Last time you're going to see this exercise today. On my count, you're going to hold it low. Two or just one weight. Your choice. In three, two, one. Hold it low. In this low squat position, you're going to step one foot back. Bring it to your low squat. I don't care about speed on this one. I want you to stay low and fight through that burn. If it's too much, you stand up for one second and then it's right back down into it. Okay, so the foot that is in front, weight is in the heel. It's a light step back with our torso. We're hinging forward in this low position. Spine is long, chest stays open. Good. A little step back and forward, back into that low squat. Good. Under 15 seconds to go. You're going to ditch the weight if you're still using it after this. We have that little cardio interval. Little's the wrong word. I know this one is tough. Coming up in three, two, one. Lunge hop to that jump lunge. So whoop, as I fall over in your lunge position. Little hop, switch which foot's in front. Little hop, switch, hop, switch. If the hop is too much, pulse, jump lunge, pulse, jump lunge. Okay, so you can make this one your own, but for this whole 45 seconds, can you continuously move, okay? That is your goal here. Modifications, awesome. Stopping, not so much. You have under 20 seconds, keep it going. Modification over here, Rachel's demoing, you're doing an alternating back lunge, adding in that little pulse. I want you low in the lunge. Don't bang your back knee to the floor, of course, but you do wanna get really low. Five seconds to go, you got this. Could you pick up the pace for three, two, one, right side, knee drivers to that deadlift hinge. So, right foot's forward. I like to bring the weight right on my back. And from here, back knee drives in and out. And then you're gonna tilt it forward. Picture you're trying to bring your chest parallel to the floor. You're engaging through that back leg as you lift. So squeeze into the seat, try to get that leg up to torso height. Good, perfect. All right, and check in with that front leg. The knee is soft, hips are square to the floor. So as you hinge forward, you're thinking of pulling the left hip down in line with your right. 10 seconds on this side, then you're done. You only have one more interval of work to go after this, and then we'll switch it up. In four, three, two, switch legs. Left foot is in front now. You find that low lunge position, you lean forward, abs in tight, spine is long. Little knee drive, tilt it forward. Knee drive in and out. Tilt it forward. You got it guys, under 30 seconds. If things are feeling a little wobbly, good. Balance is part of the challenge on this one, okay? So the knee drive should be quick. In, step it back. The tilt can be a little slower. Stabilize. You have under 15 seconds. If you're modifying, you have that back foot lightly on the floor, so don't shift too much weight into it. The majority of your weight is still in that front leg, so we light up the back side of that left side. Last three, two, one, rest. Okay, you have a full 60 seconds to recover here before we go into our Tabata. Actually, that's a lie. You have 30 seconds to recover here, and then we're going into our Tabata. Okay, so you're not gonna need your weights for this Tabata. We are going to need our resistance band. You want it a few inches above your knees. Just gonna give us some added tension as we do these moves. We got squat jacks down low, and then we have a squat hop with a squat jump, all right? We're gonna start with those low squat jacks. So I want you to sit down into your low squat. Weight is in the heels. We start in three, two, one. Staying low, you're hopping your feet narrow and wide. Narrow and wide. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. So they're quick intervals. Woo, by the end, I promise you will be out of breath. Already more than halfway there. Wide, narrow. If you're modifying, watch Rachel. She's stepping one foot at a time out and in. We rest in three, two, one, shake it out. Okay. Next one is going to be a squat hop and then a big squat jump. The goal is to feel breathless by the end. We start in three, two, one. So a little squat hop and then big squat jump, get some air. Hop, big jump. Remember to modify, take out the jumping as Rachel's doing, okay? Now with this band, I want you to think of pressing wide, you're activating your glutes and your abductors, those outer thighs, outer hip area. Don't let the knees cave in, rest. Okay, first set done, we gotta do three more of those, so we're alternating between the two. Squat jacks coming up in three, two, one, let's go get low. Wide, narrow, wide, 
Narrow. If it's too much, you're stepping. One at a time. And I know Christina over here is modifying the full exercises. She is allowed to modify too though, just as you are, okay? If it gets too much, take that modification. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. The 20 seconds feels like two minutes. The 10 seconds of rest feels like one second. All right guys, squat, hop, squat, jump in. Three, two, one, you're back on. Little squat, hop, big squat jump, get some air. When you land after that squat jump, you're landing right back down in your squat, okay? So I don't want you to come down to lock knees. Give me three, two, one, rest. Okay, you're halfway there. Whew. Shake it out. I'm not even doing the full thing and I'm out of breath. All right guys, squat jacks, three, two, one, get low. In, out, in, out. Remember, think of having the knees track in the same direction as your toes the whole time. Don't let that band cause your knees to cave inward. You got it, six seconds, you can do that. Woo, I'm feeling that burn. Three, two, one, shake it out. Three more work intervals to go, we got this. All right, squat, hop to that big squat jump coming up. Three, two, one. Little hop, get some air. Halfway there, 10 seconds. Give me four, three, two, one. Rest, okay, we have to do one more set. One more set and then lower body is done. We're gonna get low, we got those squat jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Second to last push, you're almost there. Modification, you're stepping, stepping. 10 seconds to go, you got this. Woo, my quads are on fire. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we got one more push to go. 20 seconds, everything you got, and then lower body is done. In three, two, one. You're too close to the end to bail now, okay? Woo, little hop, big jump. Under 10 to go. Three, two, one, done. Oh, awesome job, guys. Okay, so you get a full minute to recover. If you need more than that, you can always hit pause on the video. I'm gonna give you a demo of all the exercises coming up in the second half of this workout, and then we'll get to it. start our upper body and core section now. We are going to grab our weights. If you need to modify, just use a lighter set of weights and we're gonna do bicep circle curls. So your palms are going to face forward at the bottom. Everyone roll your shoulders back for me. Soft bend to the knees. Three, two, one. So you're gonna make a big circle as you curl up and when you hit the bottom, you're gonna switch direction up and over the other side. Now, anytime we do standing upper body work, you wanna make sure you're keeping a soft bend to your knees. What tends to happen when we lock out the knees is we arch into the low back, all right? You wanna maintain neutral spine. So soft bend to the knees, abs are up and in, and then you're doing that curl from there. We wanna keep an open chest as we do this, so make sure you're not punching your shoulders. Ooh, up and over. You have 15 seconds to go. So remember, we're gonna do all five exercises back to back and then you get to rest. Coming up in just a few seconds, we're gonna take this curl into an Arnold press. In three, two, 
one. So we're going to do a bicep curl. You're gonna rotate open shoulder press overhead. So at the top, your palms face forward, and then you just reverse it back down. So it's kind of like a hammer curl, rotating up, palms face in, palms face forward. Again, soft bend to those knees. Core is in tight. Twenty seconds to go. Now, if these feel easy, you might need a set of heavier weights. And if they're getting to be a little too much, again, just drop down. The best way to modify these is just switch up the weights you're using. In a few seconds, we are going to take it down to our mat. We're going to ditch those weights in three, two, one. Two plank jacks into a bear. So from your high plank position, you're gonna hop your feet wide, narrow, wide, narrow, hop them into tabletop, back to plank. If you're modifying, instead of hopping, you are going to step. I got Rachel modifying that, you can look to her. Wide, wide, into that tabletop. Now when you're in that tabletop, your knees are hovering a couple inches off the floor. You don't wanna rest them down. When you're doing those plank jacks, you wanna keep your hips right around shoulder height. So make sure that your butt is not piking up into the air. You got 10 seconds to go, stay with it. So core is active here. Your shoulders are working as well though. Especially since we just did those two upper body exercises, you should feel them burn. Three, two, one. We're gonna roll onto our backs. We're gonna need one weight. We're gonna do a full body crunch. So with the weight overhead and your legs hovering, you're gonna crunch up, bringing your knees into your chest as if you're bringing that weight to tap your shins and then extend back out to that hover. Now your goal is to just extend out to a hover. You don't wanna rest your feet, you don't wanna rest your weight on the floor overhead. That being said, if you're going to modify, that's exactly what you're going to do. You can keep your heels down on the floor, tap overhead, tap the floor by your feet. If you're doing the full version and the weight is a little too much, you could always just ditch the weight and do body weight. You have under 10 seconds to go. Just one more move coming up. You're gonna need one or both weights. Russian twist in three, two, one. Let's go. So one or both weights you pick. We're balancing on our tailbone. We have a lean back and you're twisting. You're bringing the weights to the outside of your hips. To modify, heels are down on the floor. But now look, even if you're modifying with your heels down on the floor, you need to lean back with your torso. So everyone's shoulders should be further back than their hips right now so that your abs are really active. If your hip flexors are bothering you in this position, I want you to cross one ankle over the other. It helps. 10 seconds to go and then you get 30 seconds to recover. Give me three, two, one, done. Okay, 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna do that twice more. Okay, so start finding those weights. We're gonna start at the top with those bicep circle curls. So think back to the first round. How did you feel? Was it a breeze to get through it? Maybe grab a set of heavier weights this time around, okay? Roll those shoulders back, soft bend your knees, palms are facing forward, three, two, one, let's go. So you're making a circle with those arms. Your forearms are staying parallel as you do this. And when you hit the bottom, you're just switching directions. So clockwise, then counterclockwise. We roll our shoulders back, chest is broad. Abs are in tight, so picture you're buttoning your bottom two ribs together for me. Soft bend of those knees. You have 20 seconds to go. In 15 seconds, we're gonna take this into that curl to Arnold press. It's that curl to shoulder press with that rotation. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, so bicep curl, rotate open. And down, curl. So your palms face your shoulders, and then you rotate open, palms face forward. Now, when you do that shoulder press, try to relax your neck. And what I mean by that is I don't want you scrunching your shoulders up to your ears, okay? We are starting the burn in our shoulders that we will continue with that next move when we get down to that plank move. The challenging thing about planks is, yes, it's a core exercise, but man, that upper body gets a good burn too. It's really a full body exercise when done correctly. 
Last few seconds here, we're gonna ditch those weights. We make our way to a high plank in three, in two, and what? So make your way down to that high plank, two jacks, and then you hop your feet to that hovering tabletop, that bare plank position. Now, if your wrists are bothering you, I want you to come down to your forearms and just give me the jacks, okay? Don't worry about the bear. That way you can stay active in this um, without bothering your wrists. Another thing you can do for wrist discomfort is to use your dumbbells. If you grip them like this and come to your high plank, sometimes that makes it a little easier on the wrist. Personally, I find that very uncomfortable, so I would usually do forearms rather than that. Okay, you have under 15 seconds, let's go. If you need to pause, think about taking active pauses. So pause in the bear or pause in the plank. Don't drop those knees. Give me three, give me two, one. Grab one weight, we're coming into that full body crunch. So weight is overhead, legs are at a hover, and then we crunch up, knees in towards chest. Now I wanna talk about form when we're in that extension. You need to protect your low back. So if you notice your low back peeling off the floor when you're like this, we gotta fix that. Draw your ribs together, pull the low belly down into the floor, and if you're still finding the low back is peeling up, don't bring your legs as low, okay? Just have them at a 45 degree angle and do it from there. 45 degree angle and in. Last few seconds here, you got one more move to go. We're gonna find one or both weights. Russian twist in three, two, one. Let's go. So roll those shoulders down your back, lean back. Feet are hovering or to modify, heels are on the ground, but we all have that lean. And we're twisting, bring the weight to the outside of your hip. So it's not just your arms going side to side, your whole torso is twisting as if you're wringing out your waist like a wet washcloth, okay? So look to the side. Again, hip flexors bothering you, cross those ankles. You can also ditch the weight and you can bring heels to the floor. So this workout is scalable to all levels. 10 seconds to go, stay with it. You have that 30 seconds to recover coming up. Give me four, three, two, one, done. Okay, 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna go through those moves one final time and then you're done with the circuit. Okay, you know the drill. We're starting from the top with those bicep circle curls. So now is the time to find those weights. Again, your best way to modify these first two is just changing the dumbbells you're using. So scale up or down. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Palms face forward at the bottom, curling up. They face your shoulders at the top, bring them down. Now, I don't want these to get sloppy. I want you to think of keeping your forearms parallel to each other the whole time, all right? Up and over. I don't care about speed on these. I care that you're maintaining proper form and your goal is continuous movement throughout the whole 45 seconds. You have 20 seconds to go, that's nothing, you got this. Remember, last time you're gonna see this exercise. 10 seconds to go. Curl into that Arnold press coming up in three, in two, and one. All right, so we curl up to our shoulders. You rotate open at the top. Rotate back in lower. So this move is transitioning us out of biceps into more of a shoulder focus. And once again, I don't care about speed on these. Maintain proper form. And if you are not challenged, that means you need to use a heavier set of dumbbells. Do not be afraid to use heavier weights. You have 10 seconds to go. Give me a couple more pretty reps. We're gonna make our way down into that plank position in three, in two, and one. Let's make our way to that high plank. Two plank jacks, out, in, out, in, hop to that tabletop, hop back to your plank. Out, in, out, in, hop. If you need to pause, you're pausing in the bare plank or you're pausing in a high plank. Try not to drop those knees. Let's go. Whew, this one should burn, okay? You have 20 seconds. You can give me 20 more seconds. Stay with it. It shouldn't be easy. You got it, under 15 seconds. 
if you need to modify step instead of jump. Give me four, three, two, one. Okay, full body crunch. Grab that weight if you were going to use it. We start in that extension and we crunch up. Remember, you're protecting your low back as you extend out. Pull the navel down to the floor. If it's not happening, your legs are only extending to a 45 degree angle, okay? The lower you hover them, the harder it'll be for your low abs. But it's going lower is not always better if you're not maintaining the proper form. So it's better to keep the core really active and just extend your legs out to a 45 degree angle. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Russian twist, last 45 seconds in this circuit. Maybe you challenge yourself and grab both weights. Twist. Remember, it is a big twist. You're not just bringing your arms around, you are looking to the side. Your whole torso twists in that direction. If hip flexors are yelling at you, cross one ankle over the other. It helps a lot. Coming from someone with very tight hips. <laughs> you have 15 seconds to go. Last five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, you have 30 seconds to rest and then we're going to do that to Tabata. Four minutes of hard interval work and then we're done with this section. Okay, so you don't need any equipment, equipment for this Tabata. Uh, we're gonna alternate between a bicycle crunch sit up and a marching plank. So we're gonna start with the bicycle crunch sit up. You are going to be bringing your right elbow to your left knee. All right, so make your way to the floor. If you're doing the full version, your legs are hovering the whole time. Look to Rachel for the modification. Three, two, one, let's go. So you're sitting up, twisting, right elbow to left knee. Take it back down to that hover. Your right leg is just staying extended out straight the whole time. So you're crunching up, twist. Now maybe you add a little speed to it once you got it. Last few seconds here. Three, two, rest. Okay, now we're just gonna flip over into a plank. You're gonna march from high plank to low plank. Coming up in three, two, one, let's go. So forearm, forearm, straight arm, straight arm. And I want you to alternate your lead side every time, okay? So don't always press up first on your dominant side. To modify, just drop those knees for me, okay? Three, two, one, rest. Okay, flip back over. We're going to that bicycle crunch, other side, okay? So now it's going to be left elbow to right knee. We start in three, two, one, let's go. Those rest intervals are quick. Modification, you are keeping your back on the floor and you're just crunching that shoulder off. Last three, two, one, rest. Okay, we'll flip back over to that plank. Whew. Three down, five to go. Three, two, one, march it out. Now I want you to notice as you do this are your hips dipping side to side. I want as little dipping of the hips as possible. So brace through your cores if your rib cage is giving you a hug. Maybe you need to separate your feet just a little wider to help you with that. And then it's down, down, up, up from there. Give me three, two, one, rest. Just like that, you're halfway there. Okay, flip over, we got that bicycle crunch sit up. Right elbow to left knee, three, Two, one, let's go. Up and twist. Now I want you to use as little momentum as possible. So I want you to notice if you're kind of hurling your body weight up and really leading with the elbow. Try to lead with your torso, okay? Up and twist and rest. Okay, flipping around, we got that marching plank. Ooh, we start in three, two, one. Second to last time, you're gonna see this one, so maybe you add a little speed. Remember, try to alternate your lead arm. Just a few more seconds to go.
and rest. Okay, final set, guys. Last time you're gonna see these exercises. We got that bicycle crunch sit up. Left elbow to right knee. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. Use your core strength to crunch up, not momentum. Modification, you're keeping one, your left heel on the floor, and you're just gonna crunch and twist. Think about bringing opposite rib to opposite hip bone. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, last 20 second push. Let's add a little speed to that marching plank, okay? Don't sacrifice proper form, but let's pick it up. Three, two, one. Last 20 seconds, everything you got. See if you can keep pace with me, or by all means, beat me <laughs> over halfway there. Last three, two, one, done. Okay, good news, we are done with the majority of this workout. Bad news, we are finishing up with a 60 second burpee challenge. Here's how it's gonna work. 60 seconds, any version of burpees you wanna do, okay? You could add in a push up, you could bring chest to floor, you could just jump to plank, or you can do a modified version, stepping and taking out the jump. But you're gonna count how many reps you get in, okay? And every time you do one of these workouts, you're gonna try to beat your own number, okay? So that's the only rule. Any kind of burpees you want, 60 seconds, count. on the clock this is it for your workout as many burpees as you can do any version of burpees you want we're gonna get going in three two one let's go count your number Okay, keep track of your number. All right, guys, that is your workout. Whew, take a few seconds. Just let that heart rate come down. I'm gonna lead you through a quick cool down. Whew, and out of breath. Whew, and then we'll get you on with your way. Okay, from here, just a couple deep breaths in. Arms overhead. Exhale, bring those arms down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Now I want you to bring your arms overhead. You're going to grab one wrist with your opposite hand, pull up and over. Bring your feet in a little closer to each other so you get that nice side body stretch. Up through center, other hand grabs opposite wrist. Reach up over side body stretch. Coming up through center, release. I want you to interlace your fingers behind your back. Press those knuckles to the floor. Roll those shoulder blades open. Look up at the ceiling, deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale, release. We're gonna take the opposite grip in front. Flip your palms forward. Round your shoulders, reach, reach, reach. <sighs> come back through center, release. I want your left foot forward, and we're gonna come down to our right knee so we're in a runner's lunge position. From here, I want you to take the arm of your back leg, so your right arm if you're on the same side as us, and sweep it up and over for a side body stretch. And then almost like you're strumming an air guitar, I want you to make a big circle, kind of leaning forward, sweep your arm down and around, and just do that one more time. The arm comes up, oops, as I fall over. Sweep it over, side body stretch, up and around, good. Now bring both hands to the inside of that front foot, 
And then I want you to shift your hips back, straightening out that front leg, flex the foot, fold forward, get a nice calf hamstring stretch here. Good, and then bending into that front leg. I want you to step back into a plank and we're just gonna switch sides. So I want your right foot to step forward, drop that back left knee down, opening up for that back hip flexor. Left arm sweeps up and over to the side for a side body stretch. And again, we got that big circular motion. Sweep that arm down to the front corner of the room, around. One more time, up, side body stretch. Fold it forward. And you're gonna bring your hands to the inside of that front leg. Shift your hips back, straightening out that front leg. Fold forward, chest towards the knee, hamstring stretch. Good, and then coming forward, let's find a butterfly position. Feet together, knees out wide. Roll those shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. And I just want you to fold forward, leading with your chest. So she would feel that nice stretch through your inner thighs and groin area. All right, and that is your class. Take your time doing any additional stretching that you would like. Um, that was just a quick cool down. It is always better to take some time to maybe foam roll or do some additional static stretching. Big thanks to Rachel and Christina for helping me out today. Awesome work. I hope you loved that workout and remember if you did there are four more in this circuit antibiotic series I have all the information to purchase them below in the description or you can visit my blog pumpsandiron.com as always I will see you guys here next Monday with another workout now just because I have made these longer full-length videos for purchase don't worry it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna still post free workouts here every week they'll just mostly be shorter and the structures that you're used to so no warm-up or cool-down included quick to the point. If you want these longer format videos though, again, visit my blog, pumpsandiron.com. I will see you guys next week.